Hi everyone, this is Manish and I have come up with another video on discussion about the set of Microsoft Intune account. So in last video, I discussed about what is Microsoft Intune, the features and what we exactly we can do with the Intune along with the requirements. This is more about the, uh, the stuff we can start about how to create our first Microsoft Intune account the trial subscription which Microsoft provide. So this is the best way to start exploring the Intune features. Let's start. Okay, so to prepare the, uh, for preparing yourself for the Intune, the very first thing required is we are going to set up the Microsoft Intune account, the trial version. We will be exploring the Azure and the Intune portal after the, the configuration that setup has been done. And then we can go and verify the on the Azure portal that users, groups and license assign that what we got with this Intune subscription. We are going to verify everything over here. Okay, so uh, to start with the Intune, we need a subscription. Uh, this is the slide from my previous uh, video. Uh, the Intune requires a license. So that license can come in part of uh, multiple subscriptions it, the, at, a, at a very minimum you require enterprise mobility and security ems e3 or e5 it's intune license intune only license the second is microsoft 365 e3 or e5 which includes office 365 plus your intune license as well and the, the finally it's a device only subscription which is a cheap option but doesn't provide too many features so our focus is about the two kind of the first two kind of subscriptions which are available, which are pretty much good to start exploring the Intune. Okay, so to create the Microsoft Intune subscription, we have two options, as I just provided in the previous slide show. Uh, the first is Microsoft Intune trial, and the second one is uh, Enterprise Mobility and Security E5 trial. Okay, hi. So, in this, uh, we are going to discuss about the Microsoft Intune account. Let's start about a discussion on the Microsoft Intune account. The Microsoft provides two options to create the, uh, the Intune account. One is the Microsoft Intune trial and the second one is EMS Security E5 trial. So, Internet Mobility and E5. So if I am going to discuss about the first option, the Microsoft Intune trial that comes with one month of trial account, which provide you 25 three license means 25 license, which can be assigned to 25 different users. The limitation is it's a, it comes up with the Azure AD free account. There is no, there are no premium features so that uh, you won't be able to explore the, you know, the features like the dynamic group and you might not be also getting the enrollment feature the auto enrollment feature so because of this limitation i would not prefer intune trial uh, subscription because another thing is it's a one month uh, trial uh, subscription i will be going with the ems e5 trial the benefit of you going with ems this kind of subscription is it provides three months of you know trial period 90 days with 250 free license so you have much more better uh, days, means three months of time to explore the Intune. And also it comes with the Azure AD Premium account. Azure AD Premium account has two flavors, Premium 1 and Premium 2. It covers the Premium 2 because E3 covers the Premium 1. So the good thing is you are having a, a P2. So auto enrollment and dynamic group features will be available. So this is the one which I'm going to prefer. It doesn't mean that I that I'm saying that no to Microsoft Intune trial a subscription. But what I'm saying is, if you are really wanted to explore Intune in detail, why to go with the first first option when we have second option which provide a better month of you know testing and more license with more features. So I will definitely go with the second one. And uh, all these uh, for a subscription, uh, how to create that you can you can see the uh, link below on my video. You will be able to find to go and proceed with creation of those accounts okay now there is another option that is called office 365 e5 account so i initially previously i was uh, talking to you about the intune subscription and uh, the ems e5 
but we can also have the third option that is called Office 365 E5 account. The benefit of going with this account is that you will be getting the very first thing is one month of trial account with 25 user license and it will include two kind of license. One is your Intune license means EMS plus E5 that will be included into this and the second thing is Office 365 E5 license. So it's a really a good option if you wanted to if you are considering about not only exploring the Intune but about the working on Office 365 applications, then testing and those things. Office 365 can be installed on 5 PCs plus 5 tablets plus 5 phones. So it completely provides the you know flexibility. But still, if you are not thinking about Office 365, ex exploring Office 365, go with EMS E5 license, which provides you 90 days of validity. Now we are going to uh, on the portal to see that how we can create Okay, so this is my first page for Microsoft Intune trial, one month of trial uh, period. So the link is already there on this video in the, uh, in the below. Uh, but I'm not going to use this option. The second link is about the creation of enterprise mobility plus security E5 trial. Let's go with this option. Provide your details, your email ID. Click on set up your account. provide further details phone number is compulsory you need to provide this information it's a mandatory information just complete other pages other settings Okay, so Microsoft wants you to verify this uh, account using the uh, call or text feature. I'm going to use the text feature. It is going to send a verification for code. So the good thing is, uh, it is not going to ask any credit card details or anything. So it's totally safe. Once the subscription expires, uh, it won't continue until unless you purchase a license. Yep, I can see my account has been verified now. Okay, so now it is asking me to provide the username. Let me provide the username Manish. Okay, now the domain name, you can see it's a subdomain. Whatever the domain you're going to provide, it will be having a domain called .onmicrosoft.com. Uh, so this is how it is going to work. Manish at the domain name, my personal custom domain, whatever I can I wanted to use, .onmicrosoft.com. But in the big organizations, these kind of things you can get rid of using, you know, uh, working on the custom domain. By specifying the custom domain, you can completely replace this subdomain dot on Microsoft.com with your own domain. For example, my domain manishmanga.com, I can completely replace on other video I'm going to discuss on these things. So let me just make a note of it. Creating of account is in progress. Let's wait for a while. Yep. So my account has been created. Let's click on get started. So as you can see, the moment my account has been created, it, it took me to the Microsoft 365 admin center and here it will show me about the all license and everything assigned. So I can simply go over here, I can see the 
active users see this is the active user I can see Manish at my Manish Bangi at training.onmicrosoft.com and I have EMS security 5 license assigned same way if you go to the billing click on your products you will be able to see the list of all the products assigned so I can see there are total 250 licenses available and it's going to expire on this specific date so I can see I have 90 days of validity available for, for the account and it will expire and I won't be able to use it further okay so this was the admin uh, Microsoft issue admin center for me the interesting thing would be go on to the Azure portal portal.azure.com let's go over there so I got access to Azure let me go to the Azure Active Directory okay so I can see my tenant information everything is mentioned over there uh, this license is it comes up with the Azure AD Premium 2 uh, license so this is what we were looking for this this is completely the thing which looks like your on premises active directory so but this is azure ready so you can see all users are over here you can create multiple users let's go to the groups here you will you can create the multiple groups so that you can add the users into the groups and again the same thing uh, about the licenses what, what i saw in microsoft Azure admin center let's click on the licenses and all products i can see I have 250 license and it has been assigned to one user 249 is still available because one license was directly assigned to the account which I created so this is that's it this is all about the exploring about Azure portal with the users groups you can see the devices once your device gets enrolled start reporting to you know not enrolled uh, Azure portal means uh, you need to uh, if it is joining to Azure AD you will be able to see all the devices over here so the enrollment thing will be coming into the another portal that is called the Intune portal so let's go over there admin.microsoft.com this is another portal endpoint.microsoft.com this is the portal this is the specific portal for the Intune which is called Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center so few of the things you will be seeing quite common over here if you click on users the same thing what you saw in Azure portal you are able to see over here same thing uh, if you go to the groups so you can see the, the information what you see in Azure portal for the users and groups you will be able to see the same thing into the Intune but the difference is Azure is more about just the Azure, Azure portal and in this Microsoft Endpoint Management Admin Center is about managing the devices so you can see the features over here it has you can see uh, multiple kind of devices once the enrollment and everything is working you can uh, manage your devices for the Windows, iOS, Mac OS, Android then you can create the applications you have multiple reporting kind of thing also available for the device compliance, uh, compliance and everything for the device you can you can see you have a lot of features for deploying the patches update rings you can deploy the feature update you can deploy the uh, policies using configuration profiles that feature is here conditional access policies compliance in it also includes the windows 365 so everything it's a completely like a beast you can explore everything so if you go to the tenant administration in the intune portal means MEM admin center you will be able to find all the things related to my tenant tenant means uh, the ID which I created with the subdomain and dot on microsoft.com domain so I can see Manish Manager training dot on microsoft.com is my uh, tenant name and the MDM authority is set to Intune so my device my Intune portal is completely ready to take control of managing the devices if I do some more configuration settings I can go proceed and start enrolling the device and start deploying the application okay 
so till now i was talking about the intune free subscription now i'm uh, showing over here is about the paid subscription that ems e3 and ems e5 ems e3 comes for 10 dollars and e5 comes for 16 dollars you might be thinking about why i'm showing about the paid subscription i am not recommending this thing about anything that you need to buy the subscription but of course in case you wanted to you need more time for the learning for example three months is not enough and uh, you don't want it to create a lab so of course you can keep on creating new lab after three months that is perfectly okay but if you have devoted so much time invested in learning the intune you have done the you know uh, that integration with your own premises with azure ad connect and everything is done so every three months breaking the things configuring it again may could be a pain so if your budget allows the you are ready to pay for ten dollars you can buy just one single license go with ems e3 it's perfectly fine ems e5 might be coming with more features but for your intune testing 10 us dollars is absolutely fine you can explore keep on exploring this is the way i used to do that going with this license and nowadays i'm i'm uh, i just moved to the office which five license then i moved to the microsoft which five license so now i have a higher plan but i'm not recommending going to a, the biggest plan the 10 dollar plan gives you the flexibility to work on the intune and if you, you are not ready to pay this thing it's okay after three months just create another subscription 10 sufficient thank you very much i hope the you would have liked the video and uh, if you can subscribe like it will really give me you know quite good confidence. Thank you so much.